Welcome to the Tony Awards red carpet, where fashion designers normally offer to dress the stars. But that's not been the case for Mary Testa, a three-time Tony Award nominee, this year for Oklahoma. I went to designers, and each designer would say, I don't have anything for you. No, I don't, I really, no, there's nothing for, oh, I'm sorry, there's nothing for you. Testa says it's about size. Years ago, actress Melissa McCarthy couldn't find a designer to make her a dress for the Oscars. And Leslie Jones made headlines when no one would dress her for the premiere of her movie, Ghostbusters. She tweeted about it, and designer Christian Siriano came through. Randy Rahm is now coming through for Testa. The designer reached out to the actress, asking to dress her. She texts me back, oh, look, I don't want to waste your time. I, I said, are you kidding me? You come and you come right now. I'm going to make you a dress. Rom has dressed many celebrities and says the problem is that most designers want to stick to sample size dresses, which normally go from zero to four. A recent study found the average size of an American woman is 16 to 18. And somebody at some time, probably in the 60s and 70s, decided that women should look like very tall, beautiful Giselle drinks of water, very tiny. And that stuck. I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy. But, you know, the fashion world is what the fashion world is. <laughs> They're hoping by sharing their story, things may change. And as far as the dress for the Tonys? Fit perfectly, comfortable, gorgeous. It was spectacular. Now, we won't get to see Mary's dress until the Tony Awards this weekend held at Radio City Music Hall. In Midtown, Cindy Shue, CBS2 News.